What's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Strings and Girl. <laughs> I know you're not used to seeing me like that, but I'm just crazy right now. <laughs> For today's video, we will be having a stick wonder class. For those who don't know, you can actually use your violin bow as a sword so that when someone tries to hurt you, you know, you can just easily do this. Hmm. You fight me? Fight me! No fight. <laughs> just ignore it, guys. I'm just messing around here. So, what I'm actually going to teach you is I'm gonna be sharing some valuable and helpful tips that would actually improve and smoothen your violin bowing skill. From the previous video that I've already uploaded on my YouTube channel, I've already taught you about how to hold the violin bow properly. So this time, I'm going to be sharing some helpful exercises that would help you improve your bowing skill even more. Before we proceed to my lesson, let's watch and react to some videos of a professional violinist named Emma. And let's take a look closer on her bowing violin skill. Oh my god! Oh my god, that's so cool! Oh my god, I love her hand. Look at look at her right hand, it's so smooth. Her index finger is so cool, it's like waving so smoothly like this. I really like her bowie skill, it's so smooth, it's perfect. <laughs> I wish I could do that too. Mm. <laughs> but anyways, maybe when, you know, when we practice together and just keep on trying and trying, maybe one day we can do it as well. Let's watch another one. Wow. Amazing. I like it. So smooth. Her hand is so smooth. I don't know how she do it. Maybe you can ask her? <laughs> I really love classical music. It's just so good to ears, isn't it? Now let's go back to the main purpose of this video, which is all about warm-up bowing exercise. So the first one is what I call TikTok. I know it sounds funny, but I just call it like that because it looks like a clock. So what you are going to do is to put your right hand in front of you in a straight position. Not like this, not like that. It should be straight in front of you. And just do this. You can do this for about three minutes. Just keep doing this practice to improve your arm and hand muscles. The next one is what I call the wiper. I call it the wiper because it looks like the wiper of the car. So what you're going to do is to put your right hand in front of you in a straight line, just like this, and just do this. Make sure that when you do this, your fingers on your violin bow are not moving, that they are staying on their positions. You can do this like around 3 minutes, I would say just to warm up your right hand. Last is what I call the revolution because the stick looks like it's revolving around the sun. What you're going to do is to put your right hand in front of you again while maintaining the proper position of your fingers on your violin bow. Next, turn your violin bow in a clockwise rotation, slowly but progressively, just like this. When you turn your violin bow, make sure that you are keeping the straight standing position of your violin bow. It's hard, but it's okay because nothing or no one is perfect. But with practice, we can do it together. Just do it every day and one day we will be better. Also. You can do it in a different way, counterclockwise rotation. Make sure that you are holding it properly. So difficult. 
but with practice we will be better now that we are done warming up our right hand then i will teach you how to play a very easy song called the wheels on the bus Cockamelon! I will start from a very slow tempo to faster tempos. So, let's do it! That's all for today guys. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I hope you also learned a lot from me today. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more violin tutorials. If you don't mind, you can also follow my social medias for more violin updates. That's it and see you in my next video. Bye!